and Liam Burt, uh, the bit of quality that he has, but uh, Waterford uh, withstanding everything. Oh. Yes, the equaliser. Again, the head of Paddy Barrett is uh, the target. Still Paddy Barrett. Coil. And the captain! Oh, oh what a finish! Really, really impressive in this first half. Long, long ball. Excellent touch, and what a pass that is. Is the finish there? It is. Yeah, it's two. Cool. They play it short. Bert sends that in. There's a lot of bodies there. And Shel Evan Caffrey. Caffrey sweeping it on this left hand side. That's well taken in there now by Will Jarvis. Gets to the edge area. Shot from Will Jarvis. Oh. Hits the foot of the post. And it's got in. Will the deadlock be broken from the spot by Will Jarvis? Steps up and finds the bottom corner. It's a dangerous ball in and it's flicked into the oh. back of the net. Coyle. Good ball to Boyd. Boyd goes outside. Smith is in the box along with Boyd. Oh, that is quite the goal from Jarvis. Gannon. Burt ahead of him. Gannon sweeps it into Burt, who finds Boyd. Smith is making a break. But they've got a free man. And that's Jarvis, and that's two. And here is Hannah Healy still. She has Keenan ahead of her. It's Kiva Keenan. And it's a goal for Shelburne. Taken off possession there by Gemma Quinn. She has Letman ahead of her. Letman. And Shelburne scores. Tack up for Shelburne. Infield there now towards Liam Burt. Having more of an influence as well in the second half. Burt still going forward. Still Burt shoots. Yes, and here comes Shelburne again, hungry for the goal, man is down, good yeah, challenge good. that made there by uh, Ainsley to prevent the goal scoring opportunity, but the ball is still in the danger area, oh. this is Liam Burt, the goal scorer, they're only attacking left hand side, Burt is there, squares oh. in, oh it's gone in, two now just on to the halfway line, one well by the Shelburne number 23, great there. chance, Ooh. oh, oh. Good for Strong challenge in the air again. It's broken back to Mark Coyle, and Aaron Markey needs to be careful. Coyle is still going. Little chip and charge there, and he's all the way in. He scored! Oh, what a goal! Can charge forward here and try and close down the space. That's really good play from, from uh, JJ Lunny. And it's floated towards the edge of the box again. It's Boyd who gets ahead, and it's a gun in. It is in! It's the equaliser! City, can he make it five and get Charles back into this game? You know he can. Straight down the middle. Caption. Not being able to convert any of them yet. But here they come again. The good ball played out on that left hand side. Now, can she get the ball into the box? She can. Coming in, a chance to go. The ball is in the back of the net. Uh, the other goalkeeper was injured for the season, uh, Courtney McGuire. So Amanda will be playing. And, oh, oh he's all breaking through the centre. Can they make it 2 0 here? As a, they can, it's rolled in. And we approach the 25th minute of the contest here. Broken up well there by Hannah Hilly now for Shelburne. Lucy O'Rourke. Looking for a good strong run down the right hand side here now by Gemma Quinn. She's got two already, is she? For the hat trick here, Gemma Quinn, is she? The Pats half. Burt down the line. A little bit of trickery here, a shot coming in. Oh, it's gone into the net. It just packed right onto the goal line. Marin there is swamped. That's a super corner. And it's headed. All Marin want to see some fresh, you know, fresh energy here. Now here's Murray. From distance, Murray! Oh. Murray! Oh, yes! Goal. Ball to the far post and it's Boyd! Carfrey with it. It's a good idea as well. It's about Bob Boyd! Yes! Which will be taken by Lucy O'Rourke. O'Rourke sends it to the back post. And it's headed in. And it's now with Maggie Pierce. Maggie Pierce finds Rebecca Devereaux. Devereaux with the shot. And it's slipped in. Jarvis. How's Caffrey here? Can he get a shot away with Caffrey? Still with it. Jarvis now. Boyd on the torn. On those right foot. Oh, what a goal that is. This one's fallen to Devro again. 
Nadine Clare will line up the strike, and that's a cracker from Nadine Clare. Chances, but now she has the ultimate chance to settle it for Shells. Rebecca Devereaux. Super position. Coyle and O'Sullivan. Shelburne now come forward through Ledwich on that left side. Now he has a little bit of space as he drives at McLaughlin. The overlap is there. The ball in is gone, and Shelburne's gone. Wilson slides it into the channel. Shelburne looking to try and send this one goalwards back into Wilson inside the penalty area. Still going as Wilson as he pulls it back. Caffrey, one touch, two touch, oh, and Shelburne scores! A winner at the death! Jarvis. Keeper went the right way. Jarvis finds it. Jarvis sticks him high up into the corner. Opting to play from the back. That's dangerous. Oh, it's a goal. I, do, I know a lot of people do as well. Here's Murray. Pro kick out by Stroll. Chance for Devereaux. She's in. It's two. Shells take it quickly. O'Rourke. Cork not really set. All the way to the back post to Murray. Full of tricks. Murray. 1v1. It's in. Oh, here's young Lucy O'Rourke. Oh, chance there. Grudick let it go. Murray. O'Mahony. Will she hit it first time? She does. Ah, oh, oh. she six it in. Now, Alex Kavanagh. Can she get her name on the, on the scoreboard? She can. Swinger comes the header from Boyd. Might fall here for Ledwich. Taking it up now is Jarvis. Boyd, right hand side of the area, comes back to his left hand side. Oh, oh, Boyd! Yeah. oh, that's a brilliant! Great nice header. Nice header out to Will Jarvis as well. Against Davies. Will Jarvis as well, still with it. Will Jarvis still with it! Yes. What the yes. hell? Get and in it's there. John Martin! Push on Hannah Healy, not a whole pile in it. Into the centre now for Alice Cavanagh. It's over the top for Hannah Healy to run on to. It's just cleared off the line by Grace McInerney. It's still there. It's still there. It's a back to Radkowski. Oh, now a little mistake, Grant Thornton. And it's Will Jarvis against Sam Sargent. And Sam Sargent. I want to be a manager, as I always say. A hard job. Indeed, now McLaughlin. Good touch here for Gray. She's got Quinn in the box. McLaughlin beside her. Roman McLaughlin. It's a goal for Shelburne. Now she's pressed by Donegan. It's a good ball from McQuillan. Great ball. Finds Christy Gray. Now when Murray's in the box. Murray! Go. And it's a goal for Shelburne. Phillips who has caps Royal at about under 17 she's and 19 level. Over the top and the goal kick from Murray. Now when Murray won on one of the goalkeeper. Now when Murray no. gets her hands. It's a goal for Shelburne. Going strong, you know. Hitting nearly 40 at this stage. What a player. What a player. Here comes Shells on the attack now. Gets it's John Martin. He scored a winner here back in March. Still Martin. Go! Standing over the ball for the corner away on the far side. There's only two Shelburne players further back out the field. Everyone else is inside the penalty area. The cross comes in. Martin with the header. It's in. A second. So first corner of the evening for Shells. It's whipped in at the near post. So it's a great header. Oh, what a goal. Yeah, for a lot of money as well, let's say. Mark Coyle lays a ball wide to Will Jarvis, who could cause real, real problems here. Cut back towards Coyle. Oh. oh, it's there! Mark Coyle, Captain Marvel! <laughs> and he's hit the back of the net, an emphatic finish from the penalty. It's crossed in. Oh, and it's bounced in the box, and it's in! Sam Bowen! Sam so look, if he can get turned, he's a shot of goal. He steps in, Boyd. We finish it to the net. It's 1 0 for Shell. Yeah, on the Shell's bench. Still early second half, but I think Owen Wearing will be looking for changes fairly quickly. Now there's a great flick on there by McLaughlin. Gargan. Quinn's in the box. Gemma Quinn. Chance for Quinn. Oh, it's a goal! This time. It's a deeper cross. Perl Slattery's in there. Oh, a good chance. Blocked. I think it's McCarthy with the block. Here's Gray back in. Slattery. Second chance, and it's there! Oh, wow. For her uh, tugging and challenge on. Oh, loose. Murray! Oh. That's it! 
It'll be a good crowd here next Thursday. And you always hope you get the first goal. You never know who will be rattled yeah. Zurich nerves. Zurich Doyle. Christy Gray. It's three. Three goals. And also, none, you know, clean sheets. So. Yep, yeah, it's Christy Gray. Can Shells make it for Christy Gray in the box? She has options. McCann. That's four. Kenevi forced backwards. And it's a turnover from United in a dangerous position. It's a 1 2, and it's an early goal for Shelburne. O'Mahony now gets past Slattery, digs out a shot, and it's an unbelievable. It's a good flick around the corner by Murray. Can she get past Ericsson? Ericsson keeps her there. It's right across goal. Both sides have had their moments as Shells now come through the middle of chance. Hannah Healy on the edge of the area. Hannah Healy, and she's given Shelburne the lead. And her clearance, not a great one. And a chance here now for McLaughlin. Roman McLaughlin fires in a shot. Foyle with a brilliant save. And Shelburne follow up. An opportunity to get an equaliser. Megan Smith Lynch steps up, strikes it, and puts it into the far corner. Brilliant play. Right at the death here. The header comes in, and it's another. Here's Harry Wood now for Shelburne. Straight over the top for Evan Caffrey, and he does, he's onside, he's onside, takes the strike and rolls it in. Shelburne are back on level turn. Yeah, Galway have gone back into that low block, and again, a great one by Q. Great the ball's guy. across the shot, yeah. goal! Probably we're going to have some a few minutes added on at the end of the first half, so. Quinn! Quinn! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my word, it looked into me! The referee is giving it. Yes, go for Shelburne. Part in this game, but Damien Duff will be absolutely beside himself as to how Grant, not for the first time, got so much space. Chance here for Ali Cooch over the goalkeeper's head. Where's that going? It's an instant equaliser. So it's Smith Lynch with a free kick, and it's gone in. It's an own goal. Shelburne have the lead, and it's Megan Smith Lynch. It come off Stephanie Zambra, and Shelburne lead in the final minute of extra time. Laid off there for Harry Wood. Wood and checks back inside. And Wood looking for Ali Coote. He's on the shoulder of Kyo and he's in again. Here's Goddard makes the save and it's in the back of the net. Banish Gonshot. Gonshot Ards. As he hit, Clegan Groot says he's just a goal. Tosh, he's just a goal. Uh, might just upset there. Coote fires it at Harry Wood. It brings it under control. Right foot across. It's headed on. It's a poor touch. Breaks to Maddie Smith. Maddie Smith. Chesley yeah. 1 0. Yeah, well, I know Amanda from, from my own view herself and Courtney. It's a great ball in by chance for Shelburne. It's a goal. Yeah, they're Kate really Mid playing out from the back. They're just they're, they're hitting the ball forward. So it Leah Doyle. Good strike from Leah. Oh. Spill. Oh. Chance for Mooney. That's two. It's unfortunate for the goalkeeper. Get back on track after a couple of soft results recently. Now, Christy Gray, good ball in. Oh, Gray! Fooled everyone. McLaughlin. We've got Mooney to her right. Well played by Mooney. Back oh, stick. It's a, it's a goal for Shelburne. Great ball from Pierce to McLaughlin. Ball in for Noel Merrick. Chance maybe for Shelburne. Hamburg says the Sligo supporters. Chance comes in. Yeah, into the back. Thing. No foul commission as. Kerry Lock Lockery looks to find Cara King as Noel Murray nips in there before Jessica Casey and Shelburne have a chance now for Noel Murray. Murray sends the ball into the box, shot comes in there and in. Big games now between now and the end of the season for Shelburne as Amanda McQuillan looks to find the run there of a teammate as the ball ends up at the feet then of Noel Murray. Murray skips by the chance of the slog over his defence but ball breaks instead for the Shelburne Parish. Open goal maybe for Shelburne goal with a 5-2 lead at Turner's Cross as Megan Smith Lynch takes a free kick hits the crossbar header comes in there from Gemma it's a huge let off straight down the middle from City great move now down the opposite end Mackin versus Gray it's a goal for Shelburne out of nothing Kate Mooney's against Una Foyle 2-0 no doubt it. Kate Mooney. 
Christy Gray, chance for Shelburne, attacking already. Murray's with her. Murray. That's three. Now good ball out to Alex Kavanagh. Dink over the top to Christy Gray. Christy makes progress inside the box. Chance for Gray. Oh, oh it's a screamer from Gray. Oh, for going back. Is this, is no, it was for the tackle on Smith Lynch. Oh, now yeah. here is Smith Lynch. Will she go for goal? She does. It's a goal. Oh. Lirch and Scappy go hauling her fads. It starts could it go. If it could actually just Gergen. Noel Marinish. Murray off. Fair puck to boss by pass Owen. Oh, let's go home like Berlin. Sesh on the goalie. Agus Sesh falls. Agus Tuck. Here are the chasing pack. About to converge. Tullock. Head to the penalty area. Oh. Pats are have to go on a show uh, a different side of their game now. Up in the air for Boyd, who wins the knockdown. Manny Smith checks, shoots. Oh! oh Great chance here for Shelburne. Really, she needs to test the keeper here, Gareth. Kavanagh. Yeah. Kavanagh! Yes, well. Murray looks for Mooney. It has to be dealt with. It's not dealt with by Mar. Mooney, that could be crucial. Mooney! Oh. Tremendous scoring for him. And we talked earlier. It's Christy Gray. No, not, not there for Christy. Now it's Roman McLaughlin. We'll come back to that point in a second. Oh. Christy Gray. Chance for Gray. Great save by Reed Burke. It's a goal for Shelburne. We're always ready to play up the pitch. All the experience, of course, the goal region. There's Noel Murray. Ball in behind towards Kate Mooney. Kate Mooney's going to get there ahead of him on the button. It's Kate Mooney for Shelburne. And there's the opening goal. What other teams are doing their work, Shelburne aren't here. 1 0 down against Waterford. Boyd has done well. He's got it behind. Here comes Boyd. Shelburne get level. To go ahead for the first time. Boyd steps up and he scores. Shelburne have turned it around. Shelburne being urged to shoot. Here's a chance and it's another goal. Burt. McLaughlin taking control. Working hard over there. Extremely hard. That was Gray. This is Mooney chasing after this one and getting there and poking it in over the Referee making sure everything's right. It's certainly right if you're playing for Out by Brennan. Gargan in control and controlling the tempo of this attack. Roman McLaughlin. Plenty of athlone players there, and that's a third. Opportunity now to clear. Oof, that's gone straight to Leo Doyle. And there could be another one, and there is. And it's sure that it's in the right spot. Dangerously across. Comes out initially, but only to Murray. Ooh, that is five. Gray hitting it, and there's another one! This time. Final few seconds then of the 2024 Cup Final, and that is it, the referee blows his full-time whistle. It's victory for Shelburne. They've won the Cup for the third time. They fully deserve their victory. It was built on a very, very fine first-half performance, full of goals, full of endeavour, full of creativity. Clearly everything that they touched in terms of a scoring opportunity produced something special. And their manager, Owen Weirin, in his first cup final, has managed to take his team through to victory. They atoned for the defeat of last season, where they were beaten only on penalties. And the trilogy has come to an end here. It's defeat for Athlone Town. It's victory for Shelburne. Cup winners for the Women's FAI Cup for 2024. Thoroughly deserved. Yeah, sublime Shelburne in the first half, really. They put the game to bed. Those couple of goals in quick succession really uh, closed this off as a contest. Like you said, the Noel Murray penalty, the second goal was pivotal and it really put the game to bed. Uh, like I said, just really a, a great performance. Shelburne really showed up in the day and just unfortunate for at loan, it wasn't meant to be. Well, I mean, if you've uh, lost the cup, the league, by just a couple of points.
and you were second in the league and you lost the cup last year only to penalties you were bound to have the greater hunger greater desire to come here to put on a performance in front of big Shelburne support as well here in Tallis Stadium Athlone Town had just won the league a couple of weeks back so it was very difficult for them to come up and get to the top of the hill once again in terms of the effort and the endeavour um, They've been a terrific team in the last couple of years, but today it's all about shells. Yeah, great scenes here in Tala. They're going to celebrate now with their fans and they're well deserving of it. It's a top class performance, like I said, in the first half from Shelburne and uh, from, from their keeper all the way through the team, they, they were exceptional today. Well, they were the team of the cup competition. They've been a great cup team, fourth time in a, in a row being in the cup final. Feel, I think and there is uh, the number 24 Kate Mooney just 25 years of age and she scored two wonderful goals in the cup final and uh, was really one of the stars as well overall a really balanced performance so made by Shelburne wasn't it it really was and um, like Noel well said there you know for Shells to go a year without silverware it's it's rare for them they didn't win any silverware last year and you could see just the hunger um, you know, they did push that loan all the way in the league and they were unfortunate to lose out on a head-to-head. -head. So, um, you know, they'll be delighted with this today and um, they did really put on a performance that they were capable of, like we said, in that first half. Well, they'd all have their medals and now they're going to get the cup as well from Paul Coop, the FAI president, Paris Slattery and the rest of them taking it. Shells are the cup winners for 2024. Very, very deserving cup winners, winning the final by six goals to one. There was no question or doubt about it. Young and old are celebrating. It's Shells Day. And now we see Rachel Graham there as well, and such a stalwart for Shelburne. She has been throughout the years as well. That one pumped forward. And clearance completed by Tullock who sends it as far as Martin who flicks it inside and now this one is on for Sean Boyd early chance for Shells can he make a count yes he can here's an opportunity for Shelburne Sean Gannon tried to pull that one back was there a handball in there Shelburne still have possession inside the area but Sean Boyd drives it across with Dean Williams notice it's just coming down below here is Sean Boyd into the wall deflected Mark saves it in Shelburne find the goal Harry Wood, the jersey's off, six minutes to go. A massive breakthrough goal, a very late breakthrough goal for Shelburne. And this side that never says die, this side with an outstanding record when striking first, has found the moment. Harry Wood returned in the summer. That's his first goal since his return. It could be a goal that puts him into Shelburne folklore. I said the tide was turning, Des, and look at the scenes. Sean Boyd's free kick takes a slight deflection. It hampers Brian Mars' ability to save it properly. It falls to Harry Wood, and he has the simplest task to put it into the back of the net. Interesting to see if he's offside from the free kick, but he makes no mistake and puts it into the corner. Well, if he wasn't scoring it, Sean Gannon was on the scene as well. And Shelburne. You talk about the League of Ireland, you talk about lone players coming in and how impactful they can be. We saw what Will Jarvis did in the first half of the season. He was recalled, Harry Wood was brought back in. Maybe he didn't hit the heights that he did in his half a season here last time around. But he will absolutely be forgiven all of that and more. Damien Duff from seventh to fourth. He wants the final whistle. But there is still a few seconds to go. Adam O'Reilly. Connolly's in there, looking to get his head on this one. Cleared as far as Michael Duffy, it's all over. It is all over. Shelburne, in just the third season since promotion, have landed their holy grail. Champions of Ireland heading for next season's Champions League. And doing so under a manager who has led them from the front and unapologetically the signs were there reaching that cup final two years ago beaten by Derry but it crystallised in the manager's mind what was needed to go to that next level and two years later they have arrived at the summit with what the manager has said would be his greatest achievement in football 
for Shamrock Rovers. The late surge didn't quite prove to be enough. The four in a row champions dethroned in quite a remarkable season that fittingly went right to the final day, to the final games, to the final minute. Obviously for this group of players and staff it is massive but one cannot fail to think of the likes of Joe Casey, Niall Fitzmaurice, Tosh, Johnny Watson and those supporters from 2007 that went through so much. The Reds have been there at rock bottom. I'm sure that tastes so much sweeter for those close staff and those players. But what an achievement for this group from the doldrums to come and stay at this level for the whole season from being top since March to hold on right to the very end they fully deserve this league title hats off to them from start to finish that brilliant start to the season that mid-season surge May into June and when the questions were being asked and serious questions were being asked a side that was struggling to find a win of any description three wins in a row to finish the season means they are deserving champions Shelburne back on top for the first time since 2006 and this party will kick off in foil side will carry on in Dublin and will go on and on for Derry City you have to say such a tough end to the season they played their part tonight and credit to Rory Higgins and his staff and his players for making Shelburne fight all the way for this we already maybe look forward to next season when Shells will set out to defend that title Rovers will be itching to get back on top Derry will go again trying to bridge that gap back to 97 all eyes on Pats as well what an end to the season for them under Stephen Kenny and Cork City will be back in the Premier Division but that's for another time tonight is Shelburne's night 2024 champions what a night for Damien Duff and for Shelburne yeah, great scenes here at the Ryan McBride Brandywell as Shelburne, Shelburne celebrate their first title in 18 years 2006 the last time they lifted the Premier Division trophy and you have to say what a remarkable job Damien Duff has done with his charges at Shelburne this season. In fact, over the three seasons he's been there, he's made quite an impact not only on Shelburne Football Club but on the league and I was saying earlier on, if it's good enough for Duff, it should be good enough for many football fans here in Ireland. That's the significant impact he has had. Uh, Gareth. He's been like a cat in a hot tin roof on every sideline up and down the country all season. And now the Shells fans of 300 making the noise of 3,000 as the trophy is about to be presented. And we've got to remember the thousand supporters that are in Tolka Park this evening as well, looking on at this fantastic success. I'm sure they'd love to be here themselves. But I'm sure they're celebrating there. So here we go, Mark Coyle has his hands on it. Shelburne from the depths to the dizzying heights. League of Ireland champions 2024.